Hi, I'm Mike Hatfield, and here are a couple tips on leaders and loop-to-loop -loop connections. Both leaders and fly lines from scientific anglers come with loops for loop-to-loop -loop connectors. The, as you know, the the leaders come with a uni loop on the, on the butt section. The fly lines come with the, uh, their streamlined loop. Now, if you ever get in a situation we, and we're all going to get there and we all get there on a regular basis where you need to re, you've got an old mangled leader that uh, you need to replace uh, when you take it off don't dispose don't dispose of the whole leader take about take your nippers and cut off about the last 10 inches of butt section that contains the uni loop then what you've got is uh, basically a piece like that now take that and Keep it in your vest. Keep it in your vest or, uh, or your fly box or something for emergency purposes because from time to time uh, you'll run into a situation where you may get a nick in your fly line uh, up on the tip and you need to and you'll have to cut off that uni loop or just something happens to the loop. So what you can do then is take that butt section that you have just saved with the uni loop and with a simple nail knot attach it to your uh, to your fly line. So now you've got your fly line with a nice stiff section of butt material uh, and you've got your, your, uh, your uni loop there already. And typically you'll find that that butt section of leader material is a good transition as far as uh, stiffness uh, to your fly line and really if you do the, the roll test you can see that, uh, that you'll, you'll get a good roll, you won't get a hinge on that. Now one other thing when it comes to loop to loop connectors there is a, a right way, well I guess this is probably two schools of thought, but there is a right way and wrong way to make your loop-to-loop -loop connectors uh, connection. What you want to make sure when you do this is that you do have a good transition from your leader to your fly line. Now, the way I usually, the way I remember this is I, I will take my leader over my line, and I'm just using this butt section as an example, but I put my leader over my line and then threaded back through so the end result is a good transition between both loop to loop connectors and you have like kind of like a handshake uh, connection they, they will slide easily back and forth with each other and you have that good a good transition and then that makes it easier to uh, to make the uh, the change if you ever have to do another uh, another leader change now if you do it the other way with both of these guys are going to fold over top of each other and you're going to probably find that when it when you get ready to uh, make your change next time it's going to be hard uh, because they cut into the uh, leader sometimes will cut into uh, the the fly line and you just don't have that good smooth transition for uh, for the leader to the fly line So there you have it. You've got your emergency piece of butt tippet you want to save for uh, your fly line if you ever have to replace that. And then you've got the, the smooth connection on your loop-to-loop your -loop connectors.